What's up guys, it's Ray J back with another video. And in this one, I want to give you guys a very, very quick update about the markets. Just remember that I am not a financial planner, so take nothing I say as financial advice. And don't forget about my Weeble link, the offerings today. So anyways, I just wanted to say that right now the market's tipping. We're barely holding 570S support on the SPY chart. Uh, and I went over the levels in a lot more detail in my previous video, so you guys could check it out for more details. But I just want to say that we have two big things coming out between today and uh, the time the market ends up opening tomorrow. The first thing is going to be earnings, okay? So today, after the market closes, we have Amazon and Apple announcing their earnings. If they both do really well, the market could attempt to rebound, okay? So this could be a bullish catalyst or it could be a bearish catalyst if they don't do too well. So we just have to wait and see how they end up doing. But just keep that in mind. And then the other big factor is going to be right before the market opens tomorrow. And tomorrow is going to be Friday, November 1st. Before market open, we have the unemployment rate coming out and these very important non-farm payrolls. So we're going to be looking at the private sector and other sectors like that. Uh, but the main thing is going to be the unemployment rate. So we'll watch, see what that looks like. It could also affect the markets. So good data tomorrow alongside decent earnings could help the market bounce. If we get bad data tomorrow, the market could get a rug pull. So I just want to give you guys a warning. Uh, if you're shorting the market, just be a little bit careful because we don't know what's going to happen with these earnings and the other pieces of data. And if you're long in the market, it's your choice. Uh, I would say this, just manage risks and be very careful. We'll see if SPY loses 570 or not, or if we get a nice rebound back up above 572, above our 20 EMA. So we'll watch these levels just to be safe. ES is also shuffling around 5750, very close to the level we called out. If this fails, we're looking for a bigger dip for 57.25. And if it rebounds, we're looking to break back above 57.80. For Bitcoin, we are also dipping right over here. We're barely at the 70,000 supports. If that fails, we're looking for an attempt for 69,500. Uh, Tesla is barely holding 250 as we lost our 255 support. That was the previous demand zone. If 250 fails us on Tesla, we have 248 and then 245 as our supports. And we'll see if we reclaim 253 or not by tomorrow. Overall, we're just shuffling in 250. That's where buyers are trying to defend it. So we'll give it some time. NQ, it's flat right now. Will we lose 20,000 and start dipping to the 19,800 area? Or do we bounce back up to 20,200? Once again, depends on Amazon and Apple's earnings. It depends on the unemployment numbers tomorrow morning before market open. Okay? Same thing with QQQ. Do we rebound for 488 plus or do we end up losing 483 and start heading do uh, down towards like 450? Uh, sorry, 480. Excuse me, guys, 480. So just be careful. And then for Apple, do we end up dumping back down to 225 or below? After earnings comes out, is this about to crash down to like the you know 210s or do we end up breaking closer to 230? Uh, we'll have to wait and see, guys. So just be careful with that. Amazon's also going to be making a big move. Do we rally back up to the 190s or do we end up losing the 180s? We're kind of stuck in the middle, so we'll just have to wait and see. Earnings could be very, very unpredictable. You never know what's going to happen. So the best thing I could tell you is to be careful. If you're holding anything overnight, it's your choice. You can make a lot of money. You might not. I'm just here to give you guys the warnings. So just know whatever it is I'm trying to say. All right. So I want to make this video lightning fast. There's very limited time until the market closes just to get this out there as fast as possible. I appreciate you guys so much for listening. Have a great day. Watch your levels and peace out.